Mr. and Mrs. Vernon. No. <laughs> Hi guys! Greetings. We have a tagged the thing that we're gonna do today. We were tagged by Heather's Book Review to do the inside and out tag, mm -hmm. which originates with Matham Books. Matham Books. Who are very new to the booktubing community, so go say yeah. hello. Yeah, we're, we're gonna link them below. So the first question that we have to answer it is... Starts with I. Starts with I, because it's Apparently. inside and out, and each of the letters is the beginning of a question. It's an initialism. Or no, it's, it's an acronym. It's an acronym. Inside flap, back of book summaries. Too much information? Not enough? Usually they're pretty good, and sometimes it's entertaining to read them because, you know, people they try to hook you while not giving too much away. Mm -hmm. I personally am fine with the amount that they give. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I like them to be very well done. Like, some, some books just have terrible summaries where they give you, like, three lines and an ellipsis, and you're like, well, that's not good. Mm -hmm. You need, like, the... The background setting and then the point of the story and then so and so the author tells this kind of story by doing this this and this I appreciate that sometimes with paperback books though what they'll do if the book is like it's the second or third edition is they will not have a summary on the back it'll just be reviews from other that. authors and you're like okay so what's the book about because yeah. you can't open it up and there's a flap on the inside no so there needs to be something you need there has to be some kind of synopsis somewhere new book what form do you want it in be honest. Audiobook, ebook, paperback, hardcover. Uh, paperback. Hardcovers are too expensive and they're really heavy to carry around. I like hardcovers. They have a nice heft and they look pretty on your shelf. Although some of them, I don't know, depends. Paperback, hardcover, hardcover over paperback. Paperback's a close second. Yeah, but no ebooks and no. I listen to audiobooks but I don't buy them. I, I don't like ebooks. You know, rent them off the library or something. Anti e reader. <laughs> yeah. More on that we later. Haven't, we haven't fallen into that yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scribble while you read? Do you like to write in your books? Or do you keep them clean? Writing in books is a sin. We had to do it in AP Literature our senior year and it, it hurt. killed the both of us. <laughs> it hurt. We had to write in our copy of Mrs. Dalloway and uh, A Prayer for Owen Meany, which I do have still. Yep. But writing in books, it oh, seems like a just, sin. It just doesn't seem right. I use a bookmark. I don't bend the pages to mark no where I was. No bending the pages. I don't mark them up in any way. <sighs> just, no. It's not okay. In your best voice, read us your favorite first sentence of a book. You get to go first because yours is obvious. Okay. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four, Privet Drive, were proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. They were the last people you'd ever expect to be involved in anything strange or mysterious because they just didn't hold with that nonsense. No, it's technically two sentences, but I hope you all know where that's from. My book is probably one you have never ever heard of, but it's The Island. Uh, by so good. Yeah, Victoria Hislop. We read this book together out loud because we do that sometimes. And this isn't necessarily my favorite book of all time. It just has a really good opening line. A cold wind whipped through the narrow streets of Plaka and the chill of the autumnal air encircled the woman, paralyzing her body and mind with a numbness that almost blocked her senses but could do nothing to alleviate her grief. It's deep. Just because they use the word autumnal, I give it like five stars. Does it matter to you whether the author is male or female when you're deciding on a book? What if you're unsure of the author's gender? That's a sexist uh, position to I take. Agree. <laughs> I do not care one bit if the author really. is male or female. Half the time, I don't even pay attention to the name. I don't even look name. at the author until yeah. I'm like, you know. Yeah, like I didn't pick up this book because it said Victoria Hislop on it. I Ooh. picked it up because it said The Island and I liked the cover and the synopsis on the back, but you which have is to of read. appropriate length. Sounded good. <laughs> That's all we're saying to that. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> ever read ahead? Have you ever read the last page before you got there? Never. Ever, ever, ever. I will on occasion, if the chapter is really, really good and I'm on the last page where I can see the last line of the chapter, skip ahead to that really quickly and then dart back with that I have never flipped to the end of the book to see what happens. Yeah, I don't go to the last page either. If I'm really concerned that a character is going to die, I'll sort of like rifle through the last half to see if their name appears just to like call myself so I can finish, but I used to do that so much as a child and I don't do it much anymore. Although, I don't skip ahead to the next chapter. If I, if like, it ends halfway down the page and the next page starts the chapter, I actually put my hand over it so I don't read ahead because I know <laughs> that I will. Yeah. Organized bookshelves or outrageous bookshelves? Well, in case you're all curious, this is my bookshelf. Well, one of mine. And yeah, um, I like things pretty organized. You know, I try to keep series together and whatnot. 
Uh, yeah, um, I'm an organized person overall. You can ask anybody and they, Tell will, me about they, it. they will they will agree. So I like my bookshelves nice and organized. Mm -hmm. Mine are fairly organized, but they're a little Weasley-ish. Yeah. I mean, when you look at the Weasley's house, everything they know where everything is. It's sort of organized chaos, and mine are, you know, I like to keep my series together, but I like it to look kind of fun and cool and zigzaggy. Under oath. <laughs> Have you ever bought a book based on the cover? I feel like I should be putting my hand on, like, HP7 or something. Here's the first one. Okay. Under oath! Please don't fingerprint my book too long. My hands are so sweaty, I'm just gonna smear my sweat all over them. Um, I have never bought a book on the cover alone. I always read the, at least, the synopsis on the back or something, or I know what the book is already about. Okay. Under oath! Nor have I. You have to read the synopses. You don't just walk to a book and say, oh, look, a book, this looks cool. I think I'll buy it and then buy it without reading it. You don't do that. No. And last but not least, mm. take your books outside to read or stay in. I definitely take my books outside if it's nice all the time. I don't care what book it is. I'm careful. I don't like lay it in the grass with the dirt and the ants. I keep it on my lap or something or I sit in a chair. <laughs> But I definitely, if it's sunny and nice outside. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm generally at school, like that awkward girl in front of the arts building reading. And yeah, I take my books outside all the time if it's nice. Unless, as you may well know, they are really important books to me. Like the seventh Harry Potter. Or the Fulton like Our Stars. stars. <laughs> I don't like to take those out of the house. And I'm clearly super touchy oh, about my books. Oh, by the way, <laughs> to illustrate the fact that the Fulton Our Stars is very important to her. When I took the book from Leslie, she wrapped it in a cloth so that I wouldn't damage it. By the way, you can have this back now. Thanks. That that ends the tag, ends correct? The tag. Yeah, okay. that ends our inside out, inside and out book tag. So we're going to tag the book tubinator, chapter stacks, mother effing books, and Jesse the reader. I don't think any of them have already done it. So we're tagging you guys to do it. And Anyone else who wants to, because Please, this is a free response. country. This is a free country, and At you can do what you are. want. I, They're not I have a feeling anybody on YouTube lives in a free country. <laughs> Either that, or you're really cool, and you're like going against the government. Props which, to you. Which I approve of. Yes, props to you. Yeah. Freedom. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Everything is, you know, down below like normal. Like. Yeah, you guys are cool. We like you. So, see you later. Have great days. Bye. Bye.